the, the plan is uh, that you can ask further questions you hadn't asked before. That's what I heard. So most of you guys uh, we have already seen at uh, Stangewood, at Vladimir's uh, camp. So I think there is no further introduction necessary. Please uh, start with your uh, questions. What did Anthony just at the face of? Seeing we just exchanged a couple of words. Um, how's it doing? What size of t-shirt he's wearing? <laughs> Looks like L, maybe S. <laughs> what, what's your impression of him? Because I, I know you've made a point of your greater experience compared to his. Do, do you feel that finally now this huge, huge education might be? Well, we know each other, um, I would say, well. And uh, now we're standing before our biggest challenge for both of us. For him and for me as well. We prepared well, I can tell. I've never seen AJ as big as he is right now. He's as big as uh, probably Arnold Schwarzenegger in his best times. <laughs> That's why his answer was no, no, this XXL t shirt, <laughs> not the SRM. Um, there could be a lot of questions and answers, and uh, I think we're pretty much done with all of this. And uh, as fighters, we're looking forward to the challenge on Saturday. It's not long to wait anymore. That's it. But I mean, when you were watching him last night, the reception he got at the workout, he's a hero here. How do you think the crowd will react on Saturday if you beat him? Well, I walked in into, into the audience uh, last night when we had open training session and uh, I was in a certain way booed at the beginning but I was cheered at the end when I finished my workout and that's exactly a deja vu in a certain way um, I had this I seen it with my brother and Hubi Hyde here years ago I've seen it with Vitaly and Adamic in Poland I've seen it um, in Germany, when I fought Axel Schulz, I was booed terribly by 90,000 people, but I was cheered at the end. So it's all about, I understand fans being supportive of their countrymen, but I also understand that sport has international language, and this language of performance. If you perform well, people will accept you and give you the cheering. That's basically how it was. And how it is. Dad, if you win this, is this the one fight that you're going to get remembered for? It's going to be your legacy fight. You've, you've had 29 world title fights, it's yeah. strange thing to say, but is this the one yeah. just because of the circumstances? Uh, I would say uh, it is. As Emmanuel Stewart would have called it, it's a signature fight. So, it is a signature fight, means it's outstanding. Extra Vladimir, there was one moment where um, Anthony was asked a question and you interrupted him and spoke before he could speak. And why did you do that? Was that uh, showing your scene? No, no, no. I was actually helpful. And uh, uh, there was a question about how he's going to feel and you know, what he's going to do with the defeat. And he was uh, coming into a little mumbling because he couldn't find an answer. He doesn't know it. So as an experienced man, I took over and basically fire of the rope with a stick. And uh, I just, you know, as... My world is right now very small, very small. So my life is ticking until Saturday night. I have no plans for afterwards. So it's basically going to the bed and waking up with the same thought and concentration. And I, I just start to visualize images and understanding of experience how a jet functions. And I certainly understood circle of life and I've been there, I feel it. And as I said, don't call me Nostradamus, I'm not. But I just have this strong feeling which was shaped in a video message that I took um, and recorded last week and put it on this USB stick. And I kind of repeat it one more time, don't ask me what is on it. Only one person can see it. If he wants or she, I don't know who is that going to be. Um, they can post it on social media, whatever, and know the prediction. 
So that's what it's all about stick. It's not about Anthony or, or uh, as he would have called probably, mind games. It's not mind games, it's just my game <laughs> that I just um, wanted to bring over. Have you ever been so confident you've done something like that before? It's an interesting question. I don't know if it's stupid or smart. I'm extremely confident. Comfortable and confident. And uh, I, I would say I've done it all. There's always something new that you learn. But uh, I'm uh, focused, concentrated, maybe nervous, but very confident and very comfortable. Vladimir, is it, the f is it Anthony Joshua's style when you've analyzed the way he fights that has made you so confident? It's not about Anthony Joshua's style that makes me uh, comfortable. It doesn't, really doesn't matter to me. I've never been ducking anybody and uh, it's about my own peace and my own... Uh, why worry? You know, it's like, it's a good saying, like, can you do something if you have a problem or something? Can you do something about it? Yes, why worry? You have a problem, can you do something about it? No, why worry? But so I'm basically you're getting into this. About, I'm asking you a specific <coughs> question about whether you outboxed him or not. Technically, I'm asking you a specific question about whether you technically outbox him. Um, well, um, he's a puncher. I'm a boxer that can punch. Great answer, thank you. Vladimir, do you want him, whether it's a mind game or not, do you want him to feel a little inferior going into this fight and have questions circling around in his head as the first bell rings? If you're focusing on somebody else, you're totally losing it. Mind games, whatever. Focus on yourself. So I'm focused on myself and I'm comfortable with myself. I don't care how that's going to be received by my opponent, whatever. I just feel like saying things and doing things the way I want to do it because I'm the man, this is my event, and I'm the winner. Already, before the fight, I am. So you feel that it's your event, your, it's your event, even though that of his name comes first, you think this is my event, I'm going to take control, my hand to be raised. To dance belongs to, but this is my opinion. You cannot take it out of me. This is my event, even if it, he's home. And so to say, the majority, not everybody, but the majority of it is going to be his fans. I, I totally get it, but I'm taking it as my event. And it's my night, it's my fight, it's my ring, and my win. Bitterly, how, do you, bitterly, how do you see Vladimir winning this fight? <clears throat> Nobody is perfect, but everyone wants to be perfect. Can you imagine if you almost 10 years long fight any uh, contender, uh, challenger, and beat everyone in one day? Everybody told you, you are strong one, you are the best one. In one day, you believe in that? In one day, you underestimate your opponent what happens last time against Fury. Everyone has his strong side and weakness. It's not top secret, I told you. Uh, I know my brother very well, maybe better than anyone. And the told the uh, weakness of my brother is concentration, focus to the fight. I never saw my brother so focused for the fight like that. Right now he understands what's going on and from this fight depends a lot. I know Vladimir uh, concentrate for the fight. I know Joshua is a very good fighter, have great skills, have great fight record, but I want to say Joshua never fought, never fought against opponent so high quality as Vladimir. And that's why Joshua was today relaxed and told, easy, it's not. It will be not easy game for him. For Vladimir also depend from him so much, but if Vladimir has the same concentration as in France camp in the preparation, 
everything will be good. And Vladimir show for whole world again. He's the strong in the world, strongest fighter in the world. What I I can't say uh, so much time, but everything depends on Vladimir. He have all the tools, tools, uh, all the skills to show again for everyone. Uh, his skills and he's the strongest. Yeah, let's see. Everybody excited? I never, I never saw so much, uh, uh, so huge uh, expectation of the fight in Great Britain around the world. HBO, we show times, uh, at the same time uh, broadcast the fight in the United States. Every, all boxing fans right now excited and uh, uh, want to see the uh, Saturday night what happens in ring. Let's let's see. My prediction: I believe in brother. I know him well. I also study very well Joshua. And my prediction: good for Vladimir. Thank you very much. What was your reaction, Tali, when Vladimir first told you he was going to fight Joshua? I'm sorry? What was your initial feeling when Vladimir first told you he was going to fight Joshua? Das war so ein Gedanke, als du gehört hast von Vladimir, dass er Joshua gegen Joshua Box. In life, good and bad side. It's very uncomfortable and unpredictable. Uh, uh, yeah. My personal opinion. Uh, this fight against Joshua. It's, it's, it's a great fight. If I uh, first time listen about it, uh, it's very difficult to fight against unpredictable um, uh, fighter as uh, <coughs> as Fury and uh, Joshua. My personal opinion is very good for Vladimir and uh, from, from style. I was happy. I, uh, I, before I received the information, I know so many. I don't, doesn't see so many fights from Joshua, and after that, investigate, uh, study him, and was happy. Good, good opponent for Vlad to show his skills. Vladimir, did losing to Fury persuade you to fight on? And if you'd won that fight, would you possibly have retired then? Uh, <clears throat> wrong question, wrong time here uh, for this question. You can ask me after that fight, first, second, I never in the past decade planned further than my next fight, so I've learned it. You go from fight to fight, as long as your health is clear and <coughs> motivation is there, you continue. If, if one of those two is missing, you're, you're done. But that was more than a decade now, uh, my attitude. Pardon me. A lot of people are talking about this about speed and power versus your boxing knowledge. You said anticipation kills speed. So what are you anticipating on Saturday night from Joshua? Well, I, I put it on the video stick. <laughs> <laughs> That's my anticipation. It's, it's all there. Uh, let me fight, you'll see it with your own. Not on a stick, you'll see it with your own eyes, but the rest is has been recorded and uh, memorized. Vladimir, glaubst du, dass du ihn ausmachen werden musst, weil du vielleicht einen Punkt oder zwei dann im Nachteil haben Ich habe schon auch gesagt, dass uh, Anthony ist ein sogenannter Puncher. Ich bin ein Boxer, der Punchen kann. Das ist der Unterschied zwischen uns beiden. Der Rest, ein, ein eindeutiger Sieg ist besser als ein zweifelhaftes. Last question. Und dafür werde ich alles tun. Das ist eindeutig.
Vladimir, do you have a sense of how important this fight is to Ukrainians, uh, given everything that's going on with the here? It is, it is important for fans, uh, for Klitschko fans, Vitaly's fans, my fans, uh, in Ukraine, in Germany, in the States, here in England, in anywhere. Um, speaking of Ukrainian fans, of course, Ukraine is going through a lot of challenges, geopolitical, economical. Um, those challenges need good motivation, and I believe sport, as Nelson Mandela said, has the power to change the world and change the motivation, change a lot of other things. As I mentioned before, in this crazy world, I can call it crazy because we've seen actions in the past and uh, terrible events as well. I think such a violent sport as boxing shows through the sport you can clarify each other's differences in opinion or whatever and then under the rules and then, you know, continue your life and, and uh, your career or whatever. And I think there's a lot of uh, lesson in, in, in the sport also for uh, as motivation as, as, as <coughs> things getting um, down in life and so on. Okay, that's all. Yeah? Thank you very much.